just said? Say what you just said again. Say what, what you just asked him. He in a relationship. He and said he, he date women and what did you every say? day. Yeah. And I'm, what did you just say? With God. Relationship with God. Nah. What you said? I'm a man of God. I told you that. That's not what you said, though. Exactly. But they stuck oh. on what I said. Nah, you contradicting yourself. Because. <laughs> You didn't really like answer her question. Of course. Because so. this they show you show me. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs> they they control yeah. it. Anyway, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll go to uh, slide for Larry. W Fresh, okay. Fresh Jones, question please. What does it mean to be a woman? Okay. Oh, God. Nah, we're not yeah. No, why don't we? Let's no. Are we against women okay. here? No. 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 Moving along. She wants to what, Was that somebody said something about what against women? Are we against women? They should I, ask I'm gonna say Kyle because I was clearly hyped early. Are we against women over here? Let's know. I can think it's a great a question. No, we should on, that. You know, because I'm a woman, I can't really sit here. If I get kicked out for standing up for women, all right, y'all. I love y'all. Women power. I love my queen, my kings too. Here's the thing. This isn't about being against women. It's about acknowledging that there's biological differences between the two genders, and the, the difference is is that. We go ahead and highlight the biological differences in men that are negative, which is cool, they're unflattering, but we never highlight the unflattering realities of biological differences between women. For example, what I said before, most women are useless from a friendship ut a utility sense because most of the time the guy's the one offering the value, the girl doesn't offer any value, but the guy sits there and tolerates that because they want some sexual access in the future. And a couple of girls agreed with me on that. And by their own actions, you might not like what I'm saying, but your actions reflect what I'm saying is true. You no, quite literally like said. It. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. So I don't like it. I just happen to disagree. Your actions are literally doing what I just described. You prefer to hang out with men because they offer you more utility and value by your own words than the women do. No, but I'm disagreeing with uh, the the point that you're making about that. Like, women are useless to men in, in platonic relationships. They are. Like, I would, okay, well, I would disagree. But why do you think that? No, no, no. Qu question. What value did I add to, to that guy? What value do I add? Yeah, to that To, guy. like, our friendship, yeah, that yeah, sort of thing? Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know, like... Uh, uh, I'm gonna wait, I'm listen, gonna wait. You can, wait, 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 wait listen, you can crickets all you want. Um, I can bring the authenticity, I bring, um, mm -hmm. the laughs, um, I bring, um, the good times. Um, I'm always a good time, I always go out with the homies. Um, and I just, like, like, I don't know, like, I just keep the vibe going. Time. Time. I think she actively knows that if she says, like, she just said, good times... Which the whole time we have caught on that she has guy friends primarily so she can get dick whenever she wants. And oh, if maybe. she said if she says that openly, that will prove their point. If they're friends and they're fucking, then what does a woman bring? The cheeks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. The laughs, huh? Because the guy just wants to fuck. <laughs> just laughing so he can. He get it in. And then I wouldn't be surprised if one of them say that women aren't fun. Yeah, I mean, most of the time they are. There's no. not. There's some. Yeah, some it's, exceptions. It's, it's more rare. It's very rare, but. Yeah, there's not very many funny women. Oh, that's just a fact. Yeah, that's true. Like nothing tangible? you mentioned. N n notice how nothing you mentioned is something that another guy can't provide. Yeah. Okay, uh, define tangible then. For example, right? Let's say you're with a guy. Security. Mm -hmm. If you're walking around, someone wants to talk to you, he's next to you, that's tangible security. I'm just saying, for example, oh, they, everything's in this, like, up in the air. Ooh, wah, wah. We don't and know it could be replaced by a guy. Yeah. So Whoa. what we tell guys is don't be friends with girls. Have male friends. It's better for you as a man versus having a female friend. And Female let's, friends really don't help you like that. And let's say, for example, I take what you said seriously. Why not do it with my girl? Mm -hmm. That way we can have uh, great times, great um, experiences, and fuck. Mm -hmm. The reason why we incentivize men to be platonic friends with women is because we live in a society now where we put women up on a pedestal and we put men down. But what I'm saying is that it's not in your best interest as a man to be platonic friends with a woman. And a couple of you guys agree with me, and your actions reflect that. So I don't know what the issue is. It's just that you might not like the way okay. I'm saying it, or you might not like the, you know, cold, hard undertones of why it's useless to have female friends. But the reality is your actions reflect what I'm saying. I don't know what about Majority me is indicating that I don't like it, but it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I disagree based off my personal experience. But you can't refute my point. And your point is that what? I don't bring anything, like, tangible? You, you want to talk about something tangible? I get my friends free drinks. I'm not saying you personally. That's I'm something saying tangible. in general, women don't offer men much utility in friendships that they can't otherwise get from a male. I mean, fresh got um, three bottles. I feel like we club, could bring right? um, emotional uh, sensitivity, that sort of thing. Guys don't know how to be emotional. I don't think so. 
<sighs> I talk to my friends about, you know, like what they're going through, like all the time that they don't want to talk to their guy friends. And, they, and that's like something for them. That's not something that everybody so can find. So you're a therapist? Um, I mean, that's what I'm studying to do. So. Okay. okay. I think it's a mistake for men to be vulnerable around women, but that's my personal take on it. I don't know. You're allowed to have that too. take? Huh? You're allowed to have that take? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of reasons why, but women typically don't uh, treat men that are emotional very well. That's a lot. Can, can, can I ask you a question? Right. Can, can I ask you a question? Right? For every woman. Do you have female friends? No, it's a waste of time. But, Ooh. like, the girls that work here, like, are they your friends? I know they work. Well, yeah, they work. But, us, uh, no, so. I'm talking to him. Are they your friends? Well, they work for us. They're associates, yeah. They're associates. But that's not, like, a friend. I wouldn't consider So them. what do they bring to the table? They bring drinks, Hennessy, vodka. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Well, you get a business relationship, so it's mutual. There's a mutual oh, benefit. So, like, really, like, what's the difference between, like, a business relationship and, like, a friendship? Well, a friendship, you'll hang out with them and say, hey, I'm going to go see the, the movies. You should come with me, blah, blah, blah. So you guys like, don't you're do hanging that. Out outside like, of... after, you guys don't go out and have, you know, like, business parties or... No. Not really. Hang out. Or even if we do, it's still a business function. If it's a team meeting for business, yeah, but other than that, no. Yeah. It's not that much of a difference in my eyes. What do you mean? It's not. A friend business? you go with randomly, hey, let's go to the bar or whatever. Mean professional? Okay, we're going to work. Yeah, personal? No. Yeah, it's it's under the context of business relationships. Yeah, they're so disingenuous. I'm sorry, there's, there's not women in your life that makes you think otherwise. Yeah, but who hurt you, man? Yeah, like I'm sorry, there's not women in your life that makes you really believe in women and the power that we hold within ourselves. I'm sorry, you ran into a lot of people who's lost and who's still trying to find themselves to the point where they can't even put. Can into you tell you. me what this power is that you speak of? Power, I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm asking you, can you define what this power is that you speak of? I mean, who else for your opinion anyway? Power? Yeah, the power that you referred to. You said, I'm sorry that you didn't get to experience the power that women provide. Et cetera, Meaning et cetera, everything so. that you're saying, we lack in from the majority of women that you've met. Because it's all off your experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'm basing it anecdotally on literally talking to thousands of men that have been friend-zoned by women and oh, not got okay. anything in return. That. Well, that's the difference. I'm not just speaking out of my ass here. Uh, I've spoken to thousands of men, and we talk about this, mm. how most of the time when guys are in the friend zone, they want something more, but they never get it. Meanwhile, they're offering all this value to the girls, not getting reciprocation. Yeah. That's what girls say. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Next. Like, it's gotten to a point now where I'm women are cheater, able to monetize on men that uh, are friends with women. If you look at, you know, only men... Nope. She still has. She dodged gingerly dodged a question. What is the power? Yeah, yeah, she did. She didn't say anything about that because she doesn't know. There is no. Yeah, it's the only power is booty. Yeah, facts. Yeah, literally. It, I, it's so bad, bro. Like it's really bad. They're just arguing to argue, just because they're emotional about it. But then they just make themselves look crazy. Yeah, they're just dumb. And strip clubs, the sex industry, everything. Women have basically been able to sell the allure of sex or intimacy and monetize it to a really profitable margin, billions of dollars, right? And that's the next level when it comes to girls friend zoning guys. But in general, most women don't like most men, and it's a great opportunity for them to make quite a bit of money. A girl just being friends with a guy and putting him in the friend zone is a microcosm of the bigger problem. Women leverage sex for resources, and they've been doing it for a long time, and they're getting away with it. I'm just calling it out. Hey, most women are useless from a friendship standpoint. Stop being a simp. Because all the things that a woman provides, this power that you speak of, can be met with a guy that can have a better identity with your struggles as a man, can actually offer you more utility, give you sound advice, and they understand the male experience. Men and women live different she experiences. Agreeing, no? Completely. Yeah. Men have to be in reality. So she's agreeing. Women that get the privilege of being delusional. No one ear at the other. Yes. I love how you looked at me. Like, Are you agreeing for like everything? Well, I mean, I was just looking around because. I'm here for it. Uh, I mean, I'm, it's I the truth. Because, I mean, here, let me give you an example of how women aren't grounded in reality earlier your actions literally personify what i just described yet when i described it in detail right and it didn't sound a certain way your immediate response was i disagree with that then i said refute what i said and you couldn't because your own actions right aligned with what i said women don't offer much utility as friends therefore i have more guy friends which is exactly what i said just because but, what hold on okay, but what i said and how i said it you d didn't like it, and you said, I disagree. But it makes no logical sense because what I described is literally your life. But the thing is that, like, 
you see it as like what I bring to the table like I guess like when it comes to uh, female male friendships um, I see it as valuable a lot of people can see it as valuable you don't you don't see it as like a utility you don't see it as something useful maybe that's something you don't need but you know not every guy is like that like if you don't value what I have to offer that's fine don't worry about it see, but the, the problem is that you keep bringing it to yourself I'm speaking in general because I can never speak for all women. All women are different. Like, I'm not going to generalize. That's how the world works, is generalizations. The world works based off, like, statistics and... That That's generalizations! <laughs> well, if you want to talk about generalizations, then you can talk about stereotypes. And then they say... That's generalizations! In reality. <laughs> yeah. Well, in generalizations. Yeah. Well, if you want to talk about generalizations, then you can talk about stereotypes, and then they say it's stereotyping. Stereotypes is that, are rooted in is... reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stereotypes yeah. exist for a reason. They're there because it's pretty much there's established behaviors that have been attributed to a certain group or class of people that have been done a million times. So therefore, <laughs> it's a trend, and people use stereotypes and attribute it to a certain class of people, and that's how it is. We're human beings. We don't have time to get to know everybody. What's your life like, etc. They just judge a book by its cover. So why that's do how we generalize? No, yeah, absolutely. That's a heuristic. That's, okay. so, that's what it is. So stereotyping is rooted in reality. Yeah. It might be rooted like in like some reality. It's like how you said, like anecdotal kind of uh, stuff. Like from you, you make stereotypes based off like anecdotes or whatever your experiences with different people. But that's all. That's all it is. Anecdotes. And at the end of the day, if you look at statistics, anecdotal evidence and or like um, you know just science, like in general, anecdotal. E Sorry, anecdotal evidence isn't enough to make a statistic or to make something true. It's just not. True, but then you have a bunch of data that you can use and that will accept. The point I'm trying to make is that generalizations and stereotypes exist for a reason. They're typically rooted in reality. Because you're saying, you're generalizing. Well, generalization is how the world works. For example, if you go on a computer, <laughs> most mouses are for the right hand, correct? Why is that? Um, because, well, one, it's because, yeah, a lot of people, most people, I think, like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, most people in the world are so right-handed, and not just hold that. On, hold on, hold on, stop. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're trying to be politically correct. The reality is most people are right-handed. Left-handed people don't represent enough of a major majority of the society to make a change. That's how the world works. We go off of what is the majority. Most people are right-handed, therefore most mouses are right-handed. Most guns are designed for right-handed people because most people are right-handed. That's the way the world works. I was going to get to my second point. Um, one part is because, yeah, like a lot more, I think more people are right-handed. Um, and I said, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know the actual statistic, and I'm not going to sit here and spew, Assume like, them. lies and label them statistics, you know they what I mean? They are. It's the truth. But That's a fact. Um, another fact is the fact that, like, throughout yeah. history, people that um, have been left-handed have been forced to write right-handed, because it's seen as a bad thing, like a bad omen, a bad thing, like whatever it is, depending on the culture. So they force them to use their right hand. So at the end of the day, like, it's about, I guess, like society, how we see things. And we're not talking about the why, we're talking about the what. Most people are right-handed, that's a fact. It's a relevant why. Okay, sure, I, yeah, could, like, I could agree with that, like, absolutely. You see, like, but that's part of you're, it too. You're moving the goalposts here. We're talking about what is a fact, we're not talking about the why. What, not why. Okay, word. I hear you on that. Word. Okay, uh, did anyone else have something? I would say move off facts, not personal opinion. So and, that, and that's and that's where I'm noticing that everything that we say, you guys immediately attribute to yourself, right? Personally, which is fine. It's a very common female trait. Is everything that said you attribute it to yourself because women are inherently more narcissistic than men are, and this has been proven through studies and facts. But uh, the reality is, we're not talking about you. We're talking about women in general. This is how it goes. Sorry if you get offended. What's your credit score? You want to start here? What's your credit score? Oh, sorry, um, let me see. Last time I checked, it was like 721 around there. Nice. I think so. That's very good, like. Yeah, and like, you know, I was working up from bad credit, so I thought it All right. I'm not going to lie. Mine's just average. It's in the 600s right now. All right. Surprise. She's Mine's high. a 655. I'm working to get it up to seven. Goals. Okay. Yeah, you a queen, right? All right. Um, I want to say like 650. 675 range? I'm not really sure. Sorry. Alright. Cool. <laughs> That's good. I'm on a six something. Okay. Last time I checked it was like 17-ish. 17. 
Seven, oh, 710. Okay. Oh, she said 17. Okay. I was going to say, what the hell? <laughs> no, that's hard. <laughs> 17. Isn't it funny? I would funny not be right here. I don't know. How if the guy's <laughs> actually working on his finances, he's going to know what the score is. They'll just, oh, something wrong here. I don't even know. Because I don't really check it like that. Like, I'll check it, but I don't check it like that. I right. go in on unless, unless you need it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, right, right. right. Not I necessarily if I need it, but like, if I know I use my credit card, I'm just going to check it. What is I'm this? Say? Okay. Low IQ detector. I already know we got single mothers on the panel, but just for for bookkeeping's sake, who's a single mother, and do you think a single mother has same sexual market value as a woman without a child? Wow. Check it like right after I use my credit card, like to see. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Like I'll check it like immediately after I use a credit card just to see. How often do you use your credit card? (laughs) Not often. Use, use a debit card? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, let's move forward. Uh, I mean... Where are you trying to get at? Women are terrible with money in general. Well, in order to build credit, you have to have a, a, credit, a credit card. I have a credit card, but I don't really use it. Like, I'll use it for, like, gas and groceries. But how often do I need to do that? You know what I mm-hmm. mean? So I was getting at, you said you change your credit score after every credit card you I'm confused. Yeah, so like every time I buy groceries, I buy gas. Yeah, it's like every day. Yeah. Not the gas necessarily, but groceries, like I mean, three, least, four days if you're living Yeah, something like that, around there. Gas, gas one, once, like, two weeks? Yeah, once, to, yeah, exactly. That's a lot. It's very frequent. You should probably know what your credit score is if you're checking it that often. I don't think, she just doesn't check it. Yeah. She just uses it willy-nilly. Why is she saying that, then? That's so stupid. Women hold three-quarters of the debt and are 80% of the consumer base. So, in general, like, women aren't that great with that. Because y'all hold most of it. And I actually go into this in detail in the book, how uh, women contribute way less to society than men do as far as, like, uh, socioeconomically. Uh, they did a study in New Zealand, and they found that the average woman uh, is negative $140,000 when it comes to creating GDP. Damn. Damn. Is that true? Yeah. That's a fact. That's not me just talking shit. That's the truth. Shout out to all the queens. Shout out to all the queens. Ridiculous, man. Uh, no, really? like, well, um, the reason why is because women go into professions a lot of times that don't create infrastructure. They go into useless jobs and careers. Gender and studies. What would you say, I guess, is defined as a useless job or career? Okay. Well, how about this? We'll look at the book real fast. <laughs> oh, I actually okay. have the 10 careers. That oh, gonna have you listed it out. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not fucking around. No, I'm trying to read like, the book. Y'all think, think I'm saying women deserve less just to be funny. Like, no, nah, man. Like, legit. Like, they don't provide much to society when it comes to what they provide. <laughs> but do you think that's so, the man's fault for trying to... But like, the, when it comes to equality and all that? Yeah. Like, you know, over time, we had to fight for certain positions ourselves as women. But then you men always been hard workers. You guys always got it out the mud. So it's like that's because men have a natural proclivity to create, whereas women don't. Do you women think, are lazier than men in general when it comes to creating resources. Do you think times are changing where hardworking women are evolving? I'm. I would say no, and the reason why is because women dominate college attendance right now. Yet they still major in all the stupid majors that don't make money and all the jobs that don't uh, promote society growth. I'll give you an example. Right. The top ten jobs for men. Plumbers, pipe fitters, stream fitters, electricians, carpenters, auto mechanics, supervisors of construction and extraction workers, uh, construction laborers, firefighters, industrial mechanics, aircraft mechanics, and machinists. This is all dominated by men at about 95% more. So okay? manual labor. Damn. Okay. The things that create infrastructure in the society. Okay. However, top 10 jobs for women. And this is all from the Department of Labor, by the way. These are facts. Preschool and kindergarten teachers, ex- executive secretaries, child care Nurse. workers. Regular secretaries, dental assistants, medical record specialists, receptionists, information clerks, medical assistants, dietitian, nutritionists, hairdressers, hairdressers, and cosmetologists. <laughs> so the top ten jobs for women, I'll be honest, man, outside of like maybe kindergarten and preschool, not much infrastructure for, infrastructure and for society. And Wait, nurse? Big, uh, big ups to nursing? the traveling yeah. nurses, though. But, but the top ten for men, these are all required for society to run. There you have it. Okay. All right. <laughs> there you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> There's nothing to right. say. Someone yeah. was trying to say something before I said it, uh, before I read. Oh, because um, you were saying that women go into those prof- – I, I would argue that girls have more choice now than ever before. They just don't want to do those jobs. Like, most women don't want to be air traffic controller. Most girls don't want to get into law enforcement. Most girls don't want to be firefighters. Most girls don't want to do construction. Would they don't want to do manual labor. Would yeah. you be a stay-at-home father? Damn. That is a great question. <laughs> the answer is no, 
But um, here's the problem. If I say I want to be a stay-at-home father, my chances of mating drop significantly. Why do you say that? Because women will not tolerate it. Think so? Yeah. Right. It's not women out here, though. No, you you said some. 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 Yeah, some. You're, one very small amount. you're making an argument for the minority. Most women, if I lined up 100 women, they would not be okay with a man being a stay-at-home father. They would prefer the man to be the breadwinner's father. True. Hold on. Do you I want that? Both partners do I want to stay home? Yeah. Father? I mean, it would be nice to have one, but do I want that? Not if Bruh. So you're making an argument for something no. you don't even want. <laughs> I'm not making an argument. I'm just saying, like, it's just some woman out here that It's a minority that's statistically insignificant. It's not important. Yeah. If I, I line up 100 girls, 95 of them are going to want a guy that's a breadwinner. True. So why are we caring about the 5%? Yeah. But I'm just... I'm just stating the fact. It don't matter. It's an irrelevant it's a fact. Relevant. It's yeah. statistically insignificant. Nobody cares. Good. Guess this is a good stopping point as any. I didn't get yeah. my eruption like I was wanting. There, this is there's half of this left, so I'm gonna mark the time and this specific video. Right. I also need to switch this. Um, the specific video, and I'll revisit on my channel alone, on on my channel later. But if you guys. <laughs> This is how people are nowadays. Oh, yeah. That's the scary, terrifying thing. This is how people are. Yeah, it's kind of sad, man. It's very sad, and it's just be because we're trying to switch around the roles of female and male. Yeah, for sure. We're trying to... We're at such a technologically advanced stage that it's like we're trying to put like our biological factors into certain fields that don't belong there necessarily because it's determined by something very primitive still. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. I'm going to segment this into many different videos. And this is my brother. Go check him out. Subscribe to Corbin Speak. Watch my streams. Yep. he's uh, You'll hate him more than you hate me. So, uh, you don't know that. Maybe I love uh, you, Maybe, maybe. It depends on what kind of person you are. But, yeah. all right. Have a good night.